Hello again everybody. So in this video I'm going to do a short tutorial on how to adjust your clutch cable. Very easy, simple job. Um, I should note that some bikes don't have cables, some bikes are actually hydraulic clutches, so it's the same sort of system as your brake. Um, so obviously, you know, if you're having issues with your clutch engagement on that kind of bike, you're going to be needing to bleed your um, hydraulic system. This tutorial is obviously for people whose bikes have an actual cable going to the clutch instead, um, which is the majority of dirt bikes, this kind of thing, smaller bikes, um, older bikes, that kind of thing. Some new ones as well, but as I say, depending on the bike, it may be hydraulic, so look out for that. Um, so quickly before we get on to the actual adjustments, I'll just explain why you want to adjust it. So the whole thing with the clutch is the cable doesn't want to be too tight and it doesn't want to be too loose. And the reason for that is if it's too tight, then what will effectively happen is it will almost always be pulling slightly on the um, on the arm, which is, let me just come around. So you can see down here, this is the, this is the clutch arm. This is what's pulled by the cable. And if that is when your clutch is fully let out, if that is still being pulled by the cable slightly, it will slightly disengage the clutch. So the clutch won't be fully disengaged, but it won't be fully engaged either. Uh, and what can happen in that situation is your clutch plates, which have a, um, a friction material on the inside of them, they push up against each other and that friction material, um, when they're pushed together, makes them spin together and engages drive. Um, if you're pulling ever so slightly on that, they will pull ever so slightly apart, but they'll still be touching. So what will happen is that friction material will actually be worn into like a sort of glazed, smooth surface, and the clutch plates will then, um, even if they do fully engage, they'll slip and they basically won't operate properly. They won't be able to transfer power to the uh, rear wheel uh, without slipping um, effectively, and then your clutch is basically toast and needs replacing. Um, so on the opposite end of the scale, if it's too loose, when you go to pull your um, lever in, if the cable's too loose, then it's basically not going to pull on this arm enough, and you'll find that basically it doesn't disengage drive, um, or it doesn't disengage properly. Um, now in that situation, again, you can also find that you might end up um, glazing your clutch plates uh, because you're not properly disengaging um, but uh, a more common thing you'll find is that when you come to a stop the engine will still be trying to go and you might end up stalling the bike or whatever the engine might stop um, because obviously the clutch is not disengaging the drive properly so as you can imagine it's fairly important to make sure that the um, the free play in this, lever, uh, in this lever and in this cable are correct so what do we need for this job? quite simple it's a very very simple job to do so you really don't need that many tools um, you need tape measure a spanner in my case a 10 mil spanner and it can be handy to have some pliers as well just in case some of the things are a bit difficult to twist and then another thing that's handy to have is the um, bike service manual now um, obviously you know not everyone has these but it's just handy to get hold of if you can I actually found the one for mine online and downloaded it but it's just handy because although this procedure is basically the same for pretty much all bikes. The service manual just has some specific stuff in there, like for instance on mine it actually specifies the amount of free play there should be in the lever um, and obviously it shows you with pictures exactly where you can find the various components. So yeah, as I say, that's a handy thing to have. Alright, so let's get on over to it now. I'm not actually going to be making any adjustments on my clutch because I've actually done it quite recently and it's actually fine, um, but I'll sort of go through the process with you guys so you get a clear understanding of how it works. So the first thing you're going to want to do is expose the um, adjusters. Now in my case I've got this rubber cover that goes over the one here, and down here we have another rubber cover which I've pulled back. which. Uh, then exposes the adjustment down here. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is see how much free play you actually have. Now, when I say free play, I mean when you go to pull your lever in, you can feel at what point it starts to actually pull on that lever. And the amount that it moves before you start to feel that pull is your free play. So the easiest way to um, 
measure that is to get your tape measure and hopefully you guys can see this so I'm going to place it up against the grip just here and I'm going to look for where the centre of my sort of end bit here meets the um, meets the tape measure it looks like I mean if I go off of ten and a half it's just slightly higher than the centre of that but also if I hold this here and if I now pull this lever until I get to the point where it um, feels like it's about to, it's starting to pull on that lever. So I'll give it a pull. Right, and at this point right here, this is where it feels like it's starting to pull on that lever. So it was on a little ten and a half, so that's five, ten, fifteen. So I've got fifteen millimeters of free play. Because when I pull after this, that's as you can see, that's engage, disengaging the um, clutch. So that's 15 millimetres. So if I go over and double check my service manual, it says free play should be 10 to 15 millimetres. Yeah, so it's. Mm, I could tighten it slightly more because, you know, it says between 10 and 15 and I'm right on the 15, but to be honest, that's absolutely fine. So, what do you do if your cable isn't fine? What if it's too tight? What if it's too loose, whatever. The first thing you want to do is actually to loosen off. So this here, this is a this is a locking nut. This is the adjuster, this is the locking nut. So you can loosen that off. And then so if your cable's too tight, you want to wind this in. So you want to turn it mm, clockwise so that it goes in towards that. And that will obviously loosen off the cable slightly. Uh, now this is where these come in, uh, sometimes these can be a bit tight so once you've loosened this off you can start turning them with this. Um, don't try and turn it before you've loosened this because obviously the whole point of that is that's a locking nut, that's not going to let you turn that. Um, and that's basically, it, it's as simple as that, turn it in to create um, a bit more looseness in the cable, as in increase the free play and wind it out to um, decrease, to tighten the cable and decrease the free play. So this one up here is for fine tuning adjustments, for little adjustments. Okay. If we need to make big adjustments, as in if we've got a lot or a not, or um, yeah, it's way too tight or it's way too loose, we actually want to adjust the one down here. Now the one down here works in exactly the same way. So. You see just here we've got a um, you see we've got the the main bit here and then we've got this nut here so this nut here is the same as this big thing up here it's a locking nut so we can open that and then by turning this we can um, or rather this one down here we can adjust the amount of play in the cable so again if we were to tighten that as in screw it in it would make the cable looser and give us more free play and if we were to uh, unscrew it uh, anti-clockwise it would give us uh, it would tighten up the cable and give us less free play so as I say this one down here is for making big adjustments this one up here is for making more fine tuning adjustments um, nine times out of ten most of your adjustments are probably going to be quite small so they're going to be up here really the only time you're going to use the one down here is as I say if you've got major adjustments or if you've fitted a new cable and you're setting it up for the first time um, just a quick note on that if you are setting a cable up for the first time what you want to do is um, have this screwed all the way in initially so this will be as far in as it will go and then adjust it on this one first um, until the point where it's as close as you can get it to where you uh, think it should be and then um, as I say just make any fine tuning adjustments up here and that really is all there is to it it's as simple as that like I say it's um it's not a particularly difficult to, not a particularly difficult task and uh, you know it's um, not particularly time consuming either but well worth doing because as I say if there's one thing you don't want is to have a badly adjusted clutch which is going to wear out quicker because I mean on a bike like this 
small 125cc it's not too expensive to replace the clutch plates and it's quite easy to do yourself really but you know if you've got a bigger more expensive machine you could be looking at a lot of money especially if you have to pay a dealer to do it so it's always worth keeping on top of these things um, and yeah that's all there is to it really uh, obviously as always if you did enjoy this video please give it a like if you haven't already please do subscribe to the channel go check out my other videos and for now i'll catch you guys again soon